<laughs> OK, of course, there wasn't much of a show for 8,500 people out of Western Oval yesterday. Fitzroy in Melbourne, no one turned up and Melbourne decided to bury Fitzroy. Bob Davis was there for our Channel 7 people. Yes, well, I don't think that Fitzroy have uh, quite come to terms with the Western Oval yet. They don't appear to be able to use the wind as well. In fact, in the second quarter, they, when they were playing against the wind, this is young Malloy, who is probably being a little bit overmatched at the moment, and that's one of the kicks that I was talking about. See, way offline, and uh, we see the enigmatic Mr Jakovic here. Here he goes, look. Um, trying his hardest, but spins one back and gets them a goal. I mean, in the first quarter... Melbourne held, uh, oh, this is at half time. Jacko's having, look, you want, up oh, there, the doctor said, hey, don't say that. Who did he find to talk to? Well, no, and, uh, oh, I think that's Pike. Is that Pike? That looks like it. Could have been an ugly incident there, but anyway, it's nothing. Sean White went down very early in the game. <laughs> there's another fellow, look, now he's a very nice player, Simon Hook, going in. But a miss from that far. Now, why would he do that, Bernie? Because he didn't drive it hard along the ground, Bob. Oh, he didn't he drive it hard right. along the ground, I see. Well, here's another one going in. And this fellow is a most exciting player, Sean Charles. There's no two ways about it. And he managed to put a couple through and Jakovic. And the game was over virtually at three-quarter time. Because the aggressive tackling of Fitzroy and their adrenaline held them for half time. But then their obvious lack of talent was just overtaken. The votes. Ah, I did get votes for the Shawns. Sean Charles, Sean White and Graham Yates. Where'd they come from? It's a shame. Anyway, they have a vote. Bob, only 8,000 8, people out there. That must be very disappointing for the AFL and for Fitzroy and Melbourne. Well, there was more in the President's one. But a method of playing, and again yesterday, it involved handling the ball a lot. Obviously, they handled it better yesterday. They, did, they, they were more precise in their positioning of the ball to further up the ground yesterday, which was much better for them. And they used the win a bit more intelligently than Fitzroy. Jakovic, uh, turned around yesterday. Oh, he's a marvel, Jakovic, isn't he? I mean, he has unlimited talent. There's no two ways about it. But unfortunately, someone must click his brain. I'm not too sure they wind him up or what <laughs> happens to it. But his brain has obviously been a bit... Uh... <laughs> what do you mean by uh, unlimited talent? Well, he has got unlimited talent. He can do anything, Jakovic. He is. I mean, he can kick left or right foot, mark beautifully, annoy everybody, annoy the, upper, annoy the coach.